Today on Simple Food, Simple Life, we're going to make Italian beef. Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. Look what we're going to make. I'm going to show you how I make Italian beef. Now, this is the first phase of the, the uh, Italian beef. And this is something that you're going to want to do the day before. So, the first thing we're going to do, even though this is going to go in the crock pot, we're going to brown the meat. And that's an important step, so don't skip it. I've got a, it's just a little under three pound sirloin tip roast and you can see, you can see there, it's got a, a net on it, okay? Uh, and that's okay, that'll come off when we're done, we're not worried about that now. And what I have here, I've got uh, some oil in my cast iron skillet, getting hot. And I want you to also see that I've pre-seasoned um, this with just salt and pepper. We're going to add more spices once it goes in the crock pot, but because we're using some Italian seasoning, those tend to burn and can get bitter. So I just have salt and pepper right now. Okay? So, what kind of a day is it at your, uh, where you live? I'm in Iowa, and today it's very dreary and very um, uh, rainy. But on the plus side, it's going to be in the 50s today, so I'm happy. All right, now we're just going to, we're going to brown this on all sides, okay? And um, then we're going to put it in our crock pot. I don't have this up too high, but I'm going to put it up just a little higher, the heat up a little higher, because I want to uh, sear it. Okay? Alright. Have you ever been to a restaurant or to a place that sells really good Italian beef? Uh, my late husband and I used to go to this place and they had wonderful Italian beef sandwiches. They were so good. and. One day I thought, you know what, I wonder if I can make them. So I did a little research, but then I came up with my own way. And um, this I've made it this way for years, so I want to share it with you because I just want to show you how really simple and easy this is to make. Okay? So I'm going to get this going. Now, I'm like I said, see there? I'm just going to do it on, uh, I'm going to brown it up on all sides. Bring it a little closer there so you can see it. And while that's doing that, I'm going to grab a couple of cups of water. And, and I'm going to actually use hot water. That uh, water is going to go in after, the water's going to go in once it goes in the crock pot with my other seasoning. All right, now I'm going to seal it up there. Now, <laughs> I know you're dirty in an extra pan, but it's not that much, really. It isn't that much trouble. It doesn't take that long. You're not cooking it through. You're just going to uh, sear it to uh, just seal it a little bit, okay? All right. Now, this is what we're going to add to the uh, Italian beef that's going to give it that really good Italian flavor. What I have here, I've got a mixture of, um, this is a mixture of Italian seasoning to make Italian dressing. And I put my little instructions on there. Uh, to make it Italian salad dressing. But I'm going to use that and uh, I'll probably use a little extra basil 
um, a little more salt and pepper. Now see, I'm going to be on my fourth side now. See there? Easy, easy. <laughs> this is really amazingly easy. <clears throat> so, now this is going to go into the crock pot for uh, on low for about eight hours. And um, if you if you want to cook it a little quicker, you could probably cook it on high for about four hours. But remember, this is just uh, day one. Uh, we're actually going to finish it off tomorrow. That's why this is a good, a, a good because uh, you can plan ahead for the weekend. Maybe you want to have Italian beef sandwiches for the weekend or for a party. And I know you may think it's strange that it's going to, uh, that I'm uh, going to finish it off tomorrow, but... Trust me, when you see what's done, it will pay off. Uh, the rewards are great. Okay? Alright. So. Now, I don't call this Chicago Italian beef. I don't make any claim to that whatsoever. It's, it's just Italian beef. And it's done. It's done uh, the simple food, simple life way. <laughs> okay. Now, I turned my heat off, but you can see, can you see there? It's browned on all four sides. See? Isn't that nice? And that's all. That's really all you do. It's nothing major. Okay? All right. Now, I'm going to back you up here. I'm going to place it in my crock pot. And see there? We're just going to put it in the crock pot. And then I'm going to take my water. I need a couple of cups of water. And I'm just short here. So I'm going to take my water. And I'm going to add it very carefully. Whoops. This is getting jumbled. <laughs> I'm going to add it very carefully to the pan that I browned my uh, roast in. And the only reason I've done that is because there's a little few bits on there. And I want to get those bits up. I'm going to turn my heat back on, kind of bring that to a boil. Now, as you know, or not, I don't know how familiar you are with Italian beef, but Italian beef, we need some au jus with our Italian beef, and we're going to do that step tomorrow. But in the meantime, in between time, this is, I've got my heat turned up, by the way, because I want to boil that up. In the meantime, this is going to help facilitate the cooking and the moisture in our Italian beef. Now, I'm not adding any bouillon to that or anything because my sirloin tip roast has plenty, plenty of flavor. So, in my mixture here is Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons in. Is Italian seasoning and um, basil and a lot of uh, garlic is in there, a lot of other good things. And um, if you do not have that or if you don't want to add the seasons in individually, then just uh, use a packet or two of uh, the dry Italian dressing mix that you can buy in the store. Four Seasons has it. There's all kinds of brands and uh, off brands too. So we're going to do that. Get that going. I'm going to add a little more garlic in mine. Okay. And I'm going to add just 
a few because then I'm not going to go crazy. Add just a pinch of red pepper flakes. Okay, all right, that's it. Now, now then, I'm going to add my this liquid, the water and the seasonings, to my roast. And as always with all hot things, be careful how you handle them. Okay. You know, too, Thanksgiving is coming up. This is a nice alternative to um, turkey. If you if you want, uh, a lot of people don't care for traditional food at Thanksgiving. And sometimes in the past, we have had an Italian Thanksgiving. Uh, so it's not that it's it's you know there's no hard and fast rules, right? No hard and fast rules. So let's see. I'm gonna pull this up so you can just see. Look, it's just in there. There's just enough liquid. It's just on the bottom. Okay. It's not um, anything major. Now. I'm going to get my crock pot plugged in. I'm going to um, set it on low. It's going to cook for about eight hours. So, and when it is done, uh, after the eight hours, I will show you what it looks like and the next step. Because once this is cooked, there is another. There is going to be another step. Okay, so. Stick with me. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. You're going to be very surprised at how easy this is. And especially when you get your meat on sale like I did, it's even better. Okay, we'll be back. Don't leave, okay? Okay. You know you got eight hours to like, subscribe, and share, right? And click the bell so that you don't miss anything. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. It's been about six hours, uh, and it the time that it takes in your crock pot for your Italian beef depends on uh, how large the meat is. Mine was under three pounds, so mine has been in the crock pot for six hours. Okay, so. Now on to the next step. Six hours didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, now I want to show you what this looks like. And, and remember, we're doing this the day before. And we're, we'll finish this up tomorrow. But in the meantime, I want to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to take the... The, uh, beef out of the crock pot and I'm going to put it in this container now it's going to sit after it cools off it's going to go in the refrigerator and it's going to sit uh, covered in this container overnight well until tomorrow and uh, I'll explain why I'm doing that in just a moment but in the meantime um, I want you to see what this looks like. Take this out here. Now, of course, whatever beef you use is going to shrink up. Let me see if I can get you closer. It's going to shrink up a little bit, okay? See that? And, I mean, that's just the nature of the beef, right? But I want you to see it's got a good color on it. Because we, remember, I browned it. And this is completely done, but it's not falling apart. And here's the deal. Good Italian beef is usually, well, let's put it this way. Uh, traditional Italian beef is 
usually done in very thin slices before it's placed on the, the roll, the, a hard roll. And um, I know that a lot of people do it, will make it so that it shreds, like, you know, shredded pork or barbecue shredded pork, whatever. I prefer it to be sliced very thin. If I were to try to slice it thinly like this, I would have issues with it. So <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to um, put it in this container and let it cool off and then just let it sit overnight. And what's going to happen is that uh, meat, those juices are going to go back in, the meat is going to firm up. And it's going to get nicely firm so that it can be sliced very thinly. It's just going to work better. Now, I want you to see, <clears throat> let me see, I need some pot holders. <clears throat> I want you to see the broth that is on this uh, right now. Now, do you remember um, when I initially put this in the crock pot, I deglazed my, my browning pan with um, two cups of water. And I put that seasoning in the water. Now, I want you to look at this. We really didn't lose any, any uh, close-up view here. We really didn't lose any of our broth. Actually, we gained some. We didn't lose it because it was in the crock pot. And secondly, that uh, roast is going to release a lot of its juices. Okay? And I have tasted this. It tastes absolutely delicious. But tomorrow, when we do our finished product, we're going to uh, even enhance it even more with some addition, with an addition of more beef broth. Okay? So take a look. See what that looks like. Very rich, very nice. It smells wonderful. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pour this broth over the meat and then I'm going to uh, put the lid on loosely because it's still very hot and I'm going to just let this cool down enough so that I can put it in the refrigerator. I think you're going to like the end result of this. Well, I know you will. Now, remember our roast, our sirloin tip roast had a netting on it. It's still on it. I'm going to leave it on there until I'm ready to slice it tomorrow. Okay? All right. Now that's it. We are done with this first step, the first day. And uh, we're going to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. And then we're going to finish it up tomorrow. But I do want you to look at how really beautiful this is. See there? And like I said, remember, the larger your piece of meat is, the, more you, the longer you want to give it. The larger that roast is, the longer you want to give it in your crock pot <clears throat> so that it gets done. But now look. See how firm this is? Very firm. That means it's nicely done. But it's not falling apart. I don't want it to fall apart. All right? All right. So, I'm just going to put the lid on here loosely. I'm just going to until it cools off and then I will seal this up, stick it in the refrigerator. Now, if you don't have a container that you want to put it in, don't worry about it. Um just take the meat and you can wrap it up in foil. You can store it in a, a, a gallon or a, whatever size zip bag that you have that will fit it. Or you, and you can do it like that and then just keep the, the juice, the a juice on it, the broth separate. That's not a big deal. Okay? All right. 
that's it. Now tomorrow I will show you what we are going to do with it and you are going you're going to really love it. That's why it's so great you can prepare this um, for the weekend or for a holiday and you get a lot of this work done ahead of time. And then too when it comes time to serving your Italian beef you don't have to be concerned is it overcooked. Okay all right see you tomorrow and we're gonna get her done. <laughs> all right okay See you then. Okay, it's the next day and this has been in the refrigerator. The roast has been in the refrigerator. It's nice and cold and you can see that it's very firm. I'll bring you a little closer and you can see what it looks like. Very firm and that's why it's easier to cut. Now all I did, remember it had that netting on there, I just clipped it with the scissors and took it off and um, it's not hard to take off it's very easy and usually if you just clip it in a few places it loosens it and it comes right off now here are the drippings the broth that the uh, was from the roast and you can see see the white there that's the fat that's coagulated on the top from being cold and Frankly, there's not that much there, is there, as far as the fat is concerned. I think that's pretty good. Okay. This smells really, really good. Now, I want to show you how I'm slicing this. I already started slicing it, but I want to show you how easy this is to do. And you see how thin my slices are? See that? And that's what we're looking for. I don't want shreds of beef for my sandwich. I want thin slices, as thin as I can humanly get them myself, cutting them by hand. So this is all I do. This is really firm and and the firmer it is, the easier it's going to be to slice. So I'm just taking my knife and I'm just slicing it as thin as I can get it. See there? And once this is sliced, it's going to go back into the crock pot. Now remember you did some preparation the day before. That's what I did. I prepared the day before. And see how there's still some nice pinkness in there? It's really nice. And this cooked for six hours on low. Now remember this. If you're feeding more people, then of course you want a larger piece of beef. If you, if you want, now see, just protect your hands a little bit there. Can you see that? Um, if you, and if you use a larger piece of beef, then just allow more time. I don't recommend that you put it on high because you want to be, um, you can go low and slow. You don't have to rush anything. Now, I know that some methods do it in the um, oven. That's fine. I don't um, at all. But you can if you want to. But that's on you because I'm not going to tell you how to do that because I don't do it that way. Now, I want you to see, you see how much meat there is here. This is under three pounds. And I'm not done slicing it yet. You see how nice that is? See there? And I'm cutting against the grain. That's important too. The grain is this way, but I'm going this way. Okay? I think you can see that. I think I explained it right. If not, use your imagination. Fill in the blanks. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to continue to cut this, and then I will show you what we have and what's going to happen next. All right, look at that. It's very nice, isn't it? See how thin it is? Now, this is what we're going to do. I have my crock pot over here and I'm going to take this beef 
and I'm going to put it in my back in the crock pot along with this uh, au jus, this broth that's, that's been rendered from my beef. And, but we're going to add other goodies to that, okay? And uh, I will show you what we're going to add to it. So stick with me, okay? All right, I have placed the beef along with the au jus, the beef drippings, in my crock pot. Let me see if I can show you that. See how I've laid it in there? I just picked it up as one and just laid it in there and then just poured my, my juice around it. So, now what I have is, I've got a bowl of prepared onions and green bell pepper. Now, I have three nice size green peppers, and I've got two onions sliced up. And I just slice them like this. And the reason I use so many onions is because these are going to cook down a little bit, okay? So you want to make sure there's plenty of peppers, plenty of onions. Uh, it's better to have too much than, than not enough. So, now all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take my onions and my peppers, and I'm going to just place them around my, my um, Italian beef. This smells really, really good. I wish you could smell it. But you will because I know you'll make your own. Now, what these peppers are going to do, they're kind of going to cook down, they're going to release all their juices, and uh, they're going to mix with that beef juice, and it's just going to be scrumptious. These are going to go on our Italian beef sandwiches when this is done. So, now all I'm going, I'm not going to add anything in here except a little bit of pepper because there's plenty of seasoning in my um, in my Italian beef. And that uh, au jus that's in there it smells, it tastes really good because I did taste it. It's, it's delicious. It's full of that good Italian flavor that we're looking for. Okay? All right. So, now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug this in and uh, I'm going to put it on low for about uh, three hours, okay? And um, all I'm doing, I'm just heating it through, okay? And what I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for my peppers and my onions to be cooked. I want them soft and kind of floppy, and I really want them cooked. Another thing, you don't want to get in there with a spoon and dig around in that. You kind of just want to leave it alone. Um, you can turn it a little bit gently because you don't want to break up those slices, but just turn it a little bit if you want to as the peppers and onions reduce and get it all in there together and it'll be great. Okay? All right. Now, if you want to put your peppers and onions in first and then put your beef and au jus in there, go ahead. It's, honestly, it doesn't make that much difference. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to plug it in. Um, we'll be back in about three hours, and it's going to go three hours on low, approximately. And, um, I, and what I'm looking for is my onions and peppers to be really, really cooked. We want them to be soft. So, that's it. And then we're going to come back and I'll show you what to do so you don't want to miss it. It's really good. You're going to want to try this at home. I know you will. Okay, we'll be back. All right, it's been about three hours and I want to show you what this Italian beef looks like. Can you see? Now, see how, how much the peppers and the onions have shrunk up? I probably could have put uh, more in there, but I just want to demonstrate this to you and show you that you're going to lose some volume on those things. But look how nice they are. 
they're soft and uh, but not mushy and they have they're really great because these are going to go on your Italian beef sandwich okay now see even my slices have be a uh, beef have held together that's what we want it's worth that extra trouble that you go to to um, do it the day before and like I said if you're going to do it on a weekend um, or for a party special occasion why not get all of the, get everything prepped the day before and then the next day you've got um, slicing you've got your vegetables you've got uh, three hours in the crock pot and it's all good now I do want to share with you that I did put one small can, this is a 14 ounce can of um, beef broth, and I did put that in there to augment and the, the broth that was already in there. Um, I just keep a couple of extra cans because you never know. Plus that, you want some extra au jus to, to dip your sandwich in, and you're going to put a little bit on your sandwich too. Now then, uh, I'm going to um, assemble a sandwich for you and then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we have our beef, nice sliced thin beef. Let's see if I can really demonstrate that to you. I hope I have. Look at there. Oh, that looks good. And uh, we've got our peppers and onions. That's going to go on our sandwich. We have uh, some pepperoncini. That's going to go uh, on our sandwich. Pepperoncini is good. And uh, you can buy get these sliced or unsliced. I like them whole, personally, but that's just me. And I have a... Let me move this. I have a, a package of uh, French rolls. Now, you can use whatever rolls you like. Uh, this is what I happen to find. Uh, the sturdier, the better. That's my recommendation. Recommendation, and if you can get some hard rolls, that's great too. Okay, so these are just some uh, French rolls. And hold on, I forgot to grab it. One thing. One thing that you need is you need some cheese to go on your Italian beef. I like the provolone cheese. Uh, that's more traditional, I think. But uh, Swiss cheese is good. Um, mozzarella, any good white meltable meltable cheese is good on your uh, Italian beef sandwich. So I'm going to assemble a sandwich for you, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now. I've got my uh, French roll here, and what I like to do is I like to toast the bun because I think it just makes a better sandwich. It keeps the bread from absorbing all of that uh, nice liquid. So I'm going to put this bun under the broiler for a couple of minutes just to get a nice little toast on there, okay? All right. I put my uh, French roll underneath the broiler so I have a nice little toast on there. Now, if, if you're going to do these for a lot of people and they want their bread toasted, just lay it on a cookie sheet and do that. I'm doing this just for me and I'm doing it for demonstration purposes so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, and some people say put your cheese on first and some people say put your... Uh, beef on first, but I like to do my Italian beef first, and I will show you why. So I'm going to take some of the beef, and I'm going to let me get you down closer here so you can see. I'm going to build this sandwich. It's not tough to do. So see, I've got some nice slices there. It's tender. It's just on the verge of falling apart, but not quite. So I've got the beautiful slices on there. And now 
I'm going to put some peppers and onions on there. See those? You know it looks good, don't you? <laughs> Get you up there where you can see a little better. There we go. Now, so now I'm going in for some peppers and onions. I'm going to put them on there. And that looks nice. I like it. It's just right. I'm going to take a little bit of my ajus and I'm going to put that on there. Now, some people dip their bread in the ajus first, and that's a good thing too. You know, this is your Italian beef. Make it however you like. And I'm going to put my cheese on there. And now I'm going to pop this under the broiler for a minute until my cheese is melted. This part is optional, okay? See there? Optional. Going under. Keep an eye on it. Don't leave it. And in the meantime, I'm going to get some of this au jus. And I'm going to put it in my little container here, just a little bit. And that's why you want extra beef broth. Okay? I'm just going to put just that tiny bit because I want to dip my sandwich in my au jus, right? That's right. Now, I hope you can see how easy this has been so far. Very, very easy. Now I'm going to take out my sandwich and show you what that looks like. Oh, wow, look at that. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think it looks good? I think it looks really, really good. See there? There's the sandwich. Now we're just going to take it and we're going to fold it over. Okay. And I'm going to put it on my plate. <laughs> and I am going to, there's my plate, and I'm going to take a couple of pepperoncinis, I'm going to put them on there, and that's it. Dinner is served. What do you think? Hmm? Would you eat that? I think you might. Okay, listen, just so you know, if I can do this, you can do it, okay? And I really sincerely hope that you will give it a try, because I think you're really going to enjoy it. And it really is easy. There's a few steps, but it isn't that difficult. And if you get your meat on sale or you can uh, find an inexpensive cut of meat, go for it, okay? All right, listen, I love you. I hope you join me again, and I thank you so much for being with me for this. I'm sorry if it took a little bit long, but I just wanted to show you step-by-step step how to do it, okay? Because that's what good, good teachers do, right? <laughs> All right. I love you. You just remember that little is much when God is in it. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.